Hello guys and welcome to another video review. Uh, what I want to talk today is about these two devices that I got in here in front of you guys. Um, I've seen that no one has reviewed them on the internet before so I decided to make this video and tell you all the difference between these two devices guys. Uh, these ones for those who don't know are clones uh, not trick clones from China. So I got here on the right the N9006 not 3 and here on the left I got the N900 uh, people call it the newest clone but I don't know if, if it's the newest clone of the Note 3 or not so um, you may want to take a seat because this is gonna be a very long uh, video review we're gonna go through major differences about uh, these two devices, we're gonna compare both of them in terms of performance, systems, um, um, all the um, all the stuff that that these two devices comes packed in, uh, packed in. So, um, okay, first of all, in the first part of in the first part of this video, I'm gonna talk about the physical aspect of these two devices. We're gonna compare them in physical aspect. And in the second part, we're gonna compare them in terms of system performance and all these stuffs, LCD, uh, screen quality, and you guys will see that this one has better uh, LCD screen quality than, than the N9006 here on the right. Okay, so uh, first of all, for, for those who don't know, and maybe they ask me in comments, uh, I got this device from uh, iBaby888 from DHgate, but now it comes the tricky part. Uh, I got very low score on the Antutu benchmark. I tested three times. I tested three times this device with the Antutu benchmark, and I got very very low score, around 8,000. While on this one here, I got around uh, 30,000 Antutu benchmark. Uh, so yeah, I don't recommend you guys to buy from iBaby888 because he tells me that this is the N9006 model, and he he send, he tells me that he got uh, awesome score in Antutu benchmark. Uh, I also seen that in May and J video, uh, it, uh, May and J video, uh, th that guy has the same model uh, like this one here. It it is the GTA 900. Uh, I don't know if the camera will auto focusing, so you guys can see it's the same device that May and J uh, has it on his video. Yes, it's the GTA 900 model, but I don't know why I get so uh, very low score on Antutu. Okay, so this one, I got it from China eCards, but again guys, uh, pay strictly attention to what I have to told you now, because uh, China eCards sealed this device for the price of 300 United, 350 United States dollars, and, you, and they also request you to pay for DHA delivery, but instead they ship this device with Singapore Post, so I got it in around two months, uh, the tracking number that they give me was not uh, was not good so uh, yeah I don't recommend anyone to buy from China e-cards because they are legit scammers everybody knows that if you search on the internet you'll find very very bad feedback about them uh, also their YouTube channel has been shutting down because they advertise fake fake phones uh, this one was advertised as a real octa-core on their website but instead I got the the quad-core version of this device because uh, at the time when I bought when I bought this device, um, uh, OctaCore version ha uh, processor has not e even uh, been released at that time. So yeah, they made me pay like 400 United States dollars for this device. Uh, while you can get, uh, in the same time you can get this device for around 200 United States dollars from AliExpress or DHgate. So yeah, guys, I don't recommend to buy from China eCards. Uh, okay. All of this being said, uh, let's compare these two devices in terms of physical aspect. First of all, we're going to compare the two batteries that comes packed in. Uh, this is the SMN900 and this is the, that, the battery that comes with the N9006. As you can see guys, uh, this one here uh, on the booth, it has some sort of, uh, it appears to be a fake NFC tag or something like this, while this one it doesn't have that. I'm gonna put it this way so you guys can see better. Uh, so yeah, I also tell you, I I have to tell you tell you guys that this battery of the N900 it lasts something like uh, almost two days, while this one here on the N9006 it lasts something like 
eight hours or nine hours so in terms of uh, battery uh, N900 it's way better the battery that comes with the N900 okay let's uh, see the back covers of these two devices uh, basically they are the same there's no major difference between these two covers uh, as you can see guys um, maybe or maybe you can see but um, the SM N900 cover it feels much much more better when you hold it in your hand than the N9006 uh, the, the fake rubber uh, it feels much much more better on the N900 covers and the N9006 has some sort of numbers here down below but I don't know if this uh, could be a, a major difference okay so now let's just uh, see the two devices this one for those who, who doesn't pay strict attention to the video it's the N9006 and this one it's the N900 as you can see guys uh, the colors of these two devices the N9006 has a very dark uh, dark color and while on this one the N900 it's, it is much more like a dark gray color but uh, for those who who doesn't pay attention to these details it's not a very big deal uh, let's see the, the the logo Samsung that comes with uh, with these two devices as you can see guys um, I'm gonna try to offer you a close up view of this uh, the N900 Samsung logo it's much more professional than this one here this one it's the N9006 so as you can see guys the letters on the N9006 um, they are not straight in line like they are on the on the N900 so yeah the Samsung logo on the N900 it's very very professional uh, the speaker the ear speaker uh, on both devices is not that great on this one it goes it goes in here on the right side and on this one here it goes in on the on the downside so the ear speaker could be better on both devices but you know I'm happy like this because it's not a very very uh, important detail now let's talk about the sensor uh, as you can see guys uh, on the N9006 the sensors are the same size on the N9, N900 uh, the, the sensor from the right side it's uh, a little bit uh, bigger than the one than the than the other one now uh, let's see the front cams uh, they basically are the same but from what i see here and excuse me guys if i don't see very good because i'm watching through my uh, through my webcam uh, i've i've seen that the the circle around the camera here on the n9006 it's a little bit bigger than the uh, than the N900 so I don't know if you guys can see that very good but I try at least <laughs> okay so now let's see the the um, under the battery information on both devices uh, it says uh, SMN900 and the GTN900 made in Korea by Samsung obviously it's a fake um, Okay, now that's it's a very very important detail. Let's pay strict attention to the back camera and the LED flash. The LED flash here on the N9006, I tested, guys, trust me, I tested in dark condition and it's not that great. Uh, it doesn't put a very very bright light in, uh, in dark condition like, uh, like the N900. So uh, the N900 LED flash it's it is much more brighter in dark condition and it also it appears to be much more professional than this one this one it has a yellow color it is a uh, i mean it's very yellow i don't know if you guys can see through the webcam but it's very yellow while on the n900 it's it is a pure white color it's much much more like a bright color uh, pure white color so this one in it's better in dark condition than this one um okay what else in physical aspects basically they are the same uh, I also forgot to tell you guys yeah the cam has lost the auto focusing uh, let's see the, uh, the the S Pen that comes with these two devices so let's take out the N900 S Pen and let's take out the N9, GT N9006 S Pen so we can see the differences between these two uh, S Pens 
Okay. So as you can see, guys, the first difference in, in these two uh, uh, S pens are the the size, the N9006 and the N900. The N900 it's obviously bigger than the N9006. Uh, N9006 S pen it has uh, some sort of fake paint here. It's a fake button. I don't know if you guys can see that. I will try to close up this. Yeah, if the camera will auto focusing, I will show you guys. Uh, okay, this is a fake button here. While on the N900, it doesn't have that paint, but it has a fake button directly. So I'm gonna show you a close-up view of these two S pens, so you guys can can see the the differences. But the cam doesn't want to auto-focusing today. I don't know what happened. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's see now. No, nope, it doesn't want to auto-focusing. But anyway, you see the, the detail. Both of them comes with the Samsung logo. Um, yeah, now it's auto focusing, and I'm gonna show you now, guys. Also, the fake button. Also, the tip, uh, the tip on this one on the N900, it's uh, not that. Uh, it's much more thicker than the GT N9006, uh, and also they are. If we're gonna turn them over, this one here, the N9006, it is a little bit different than the the N900. So, uh, that's basically the same in, um, in physical aspect of these two devices. If you guys ask me, uh, the N900 is much more uh, professional and it feels much more better when you hold it in your hand uh, compared with the, uh, the GT N9006. Uh, this one, it doesn't feel uh, so much uh, well-built quality compared with the N900. But basically, they are the same. The home button, they are the same. Uh, this basically, it is not a very big difference between these two devices. Same speaker, same USB charger. Obviously, it's a fake 3.0. Uh, volume buttons, headphone jack. Uh, this one, it doesn't have the infrared, rim, uh, infrared uh, LED. Uh, this one, it comes with the infrared. Uh, but this we're gonna we're gonna talk in the part two of this video because in the first part we just gonna discuss about the the physical aspect. So uh, be sure to check the the part two of this video, guys. We're gonna go through the system performance. We're gonna test these two devices with the Antutu benchmark with the CPU identifier. So we're gonna we're gonna see uh, the the internal storage of these two devices, the RAM and the performance of the, these two devices. For the moment, uh, that was the first the first part of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment. I will try to respond all the comments. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.